So why didn't anyone tell me how freaking adorable Knott's Mary Farm is? Forget Disneyland. If you are a hometown girly, skip yourself right on over to Knott's Berry Farm because this place is so cozy. I'm obsessed. Lucky for me, I have a season pass and I'm coming back here because I love this place. But let's jump into my first visit. We started with the Coast Rider. I don't have any footage of that, but I do have some of this and yeah. Sports mode, if you know, you know. This ride was so much fun. I spent most of my time talking about the decor because it was literally so on brand for my aesthetic. I am obsessed. So obviously you guys know that this is a farm, so we had to go check out the berries. And yes, those are giant boys and berries. We went to the berry factory. And while we were in line, we got serenaded by this guy playing the piano on a bike. Everyone was so hyped when he played the classic Snoopy Christmas song. Hard to Welcome back. Please remain seated. Third place. And yeah, I was really shocked that I came in third place, okay? <laughs> Next up, we did a little bit of shopping. How adorable is this shirt? Y'all slap bands are back. We picked up one of these cups. They were only $7 and I'm going back for these guys. The frog legs, do you guys remember these things? We got to the park a little bit later in the afternoon. So we went ahead and grabbed lunch at this barbecue joint. While they had some really amazing smelling food, I am a vegetarian, so we opted for just getting sides. And I definitely recommend, I'm probably gonna get this the next time I go too. The portions were huge and I loved the mac and cheese. And for dessert, I grabbed a s'mores macaron. I'm obsessed with them, so I have to try them wherever I go. We decided to take it easy after lunch and went on the sky cabin gives you a nice 360 view of the park and of the surrounding area. We love a good experience ride and this one definitely makes you feel like you're in a mine. All I have to say about this ride is that it gave me a new appreciation for coal miners because that was intense. I don't like small spaces and the thought of getting stuck in there is just terrifying, but it was a really cool experience, that's for sure. As a small business owner, I love seeing that they bring small business owners in their park to sell. Next up, you are about to experience me healing my inner child. I know you guys have gone on this field trip where you got to sift shit and that is exactly what I did. POV, you're watching me get the instructions on how to do this. And yeah, I'm gonna go dig right on in. Yeah, my back hurt really, really bad because this took a hot minute. I think I was going way too slow and I was standing really awkwardly because I'm pretty sure this is for kids, but you know, the guy next to me was healing his inner child too. So it was a safe space. Big shout out to my sister for being the cameraman and a shout out to the worker who was helping me. He was really awesome. And he didn't make me feel like a fool for being almost 30 and doing this. Okay, okay, it's time for the big reveal. He had to help me out because I was obviously going way too slow. And I'm gonna be honest, he was talking so fast, we didn't really understand what he was saying, but he was asking if this was enough. Did you see it? Cause I didn't. He ended up getting me more, so here's my gold. That was so fun and it was only 10 bucks. And yes, the gold is real. Okay, on to the little gingerbread garden, how cute. My sister took the camera. This is her montage. <laughs> As you all can see by my sweater, I am a Grinch girly, hashtag justice for Grinch. So we went ahead and tried out the Grinch's gingerbread brownie. And here's me telling you guys to come on in like my own little show. JK, before that, here's a quick little lights break. How cute, festive, love it. 
Back to the brownie, I'm gonna be real honest here, save your coins, it looks molded, yes, but that wasn't the problem. It's giving Little Debbie Cosmic Gingerbread Brownie. And it was cold, which was weird, so I would pass on this one. And we're off to something that I'd never thought I'd be able to say, but I experienced snow in California. Mm-hmm, you heard that right, it snows at Knott's Mary Farm. So I am an East Coast girly, and snow is only fun when it's aesthetically pleasing, but this, this was something different. And I think this was the moment I realized that not everyone had experienced snow before in real life. So that was so cute and so pure. I love this place. Okay. Fine. <laughs> oh, cute. A little animal ring. <laughs> Some buddy bands. These are like silly bands. Oh my god. It's an elephant. I think that's a giraffe. Maybe? I don't know. I don't think actually that's a giraffe. Kangaroo. I think that's like a alligator. Crocodile. This looks like maybe oh a duck. And hippo. Okay. Two more things. Ooh, one of these little cubies. And one of these things. I think that's a hand thing. Oh my god. And a little dinosaur finger. <laughs> it's a little kid stuff. It's a dinosaur figure. Love it. That's all.